Hi, beautiful Taurus. Welcome to a new era. My name is Emma. Uh, Taurus, I do apologize. It has taken a little bit of time for me to get back around to your sign, uh, especially since I started on Leo last time and to now get back to you. I've been sick. I you still hear my in my throat. I do apologize if it look, hears, you, you hear it a little bit nasty. <laughs> uh, but I'm back now. Let's see what's going on for you, uh, Taurus. I just want to say if you also uh, were expecting a love reading, I just feel like I will I will drop the love readings and you will just sort of make, there's so much information, I said this to the other signs as well, so there's so much in information, and if you heard me say this before, you can just skip to where you see that I start to shuffle again. Um, there's so much information coming and there's so much changes being, like there's so much happening right now. And I just feel like these love readings were sort of boy meets girl. It's, it's it's a little bit outdated. And I just feel like as a collective, we're moving into the love vibration right now. And coming into the love, love vibration is way, way, way more interesting. How sort of to get there, how to lose your identity, to, to evolve, to ascend. Um, but still, it can be the grandest love you ever felt coming into a relationship right now. So I'm not sort of discarding the the relationship altogether i'm just saying whatever comes up here right now what i'm conveying to you put that into your love relationship put that into your business put that into you see where it fits but i'm not sort of going to focus on love in that sense right now although i'm going to focus everything on love because that's where we're headed if that makes any sense so taurus uh for the time frame of um Basically, basically all of September, but towards the end of August until towards the end of September. It's for a month ahead. Taurus. The sacral chakra. very it so I'm gonna start with that so the sacral chakra for me that's all about for me well it's all about uh, creativity and sexuality it's your um, it's your magnetism it's your charisma it's your attraction it's your uh, ability once you're in your sacral chakra and it's really on fire you you can sort of only just think about something and the next minute it sort of feels like it arrives when you're a little bit off in your sacral chakra it's like you ask and ask and ask and you feel like it's not really coming to you um when you're on a lot of people around you are are seeking you out they want a, a part of you they might not even understand why they want a part of you you might not even even understand why they want a part of you but it's that fire is that glow so let's see why that is here for Taurus, please. Sacral chakra, why is that here? Peace, beautiful. So this is a bit of a transformation here. So this sacral chakra could really be in transformation right now that you're coming into this. Um, so probably it's been more off than on you probably have been feeling not so attractive not so magnetic not so charismatic but it's like turning on if you're a woman that's very much about like feeling uh feeling your your sensual it's not if i if i use the word sexual it's not about sex so it's, it's sort of easier to talk about sensual, but it's like your sensual energy. It's your power. It's your, um, it's your womb. It's your, it's where everything is created. Your sacral, it's your sacral chakra. <coughs> Excuse me. So there's a big transformation happening here. This is death leading to life. It's almost like I started out talking about losing your identity to sort of come into your true potential, to rise higher up, to, to really start to have an understanding of who you are. This is having like an understanding of if this has reached a place for you physically, and I'm, I'm, I still am talking about the woman because it's hard for the man to have ovaries. Um, 
uh, who knows in the future, but like um, to have ovaries and to have a, to have a womb, to have what creates a baby, you know, you could have had um, a lot of trouble around that. You can even have trouble like around your urinary tract. Is that what it's called? Urinary tract. It could have, it could have been like a lot of stuff like your period is off. It's irregular or it's really over overwhelmingly not working or the, it's like really tough once you get it you know your period once the sacral chakra is in alignment you have a period that's on time it's just in the right amount of blood it's not hurting it could be a little bit of pressure because it is but it shouldn't hurt it shouldn't be irregular it shouldn't drive you nuts when you have it, <laughs> it it's like it should just feel easy breezy when you have it um so that could be something that has been off. And once you sort of come in more into alignment with your sacral chakra, that will sort itself out. You will become your own, like, on on the clock. Like, it's it's regular. It's not hurting. It's a normal flow. It's, a, you know, everything is just beautiful. It's a, it's a hormonal balance. It's a hormonal ba- balance. You could have, have all these, like, I, I've had for... I don't know how long, uh, for a while there, it was really bad in my face and I had these hormonal uh, shifts in my body and that can sort of show up as acne, as uh, uh, eczema, um, all these things that has sort of rashes on your, on your body that could be due to hormonal imbalance. But what is the hormonal imbalance? It's usually, I'm not dying, I'm not setting any diagnosis here. I'm not a doctor. I'm supposed to say this, okay? Um, You take full responsibility. So my truth is that, okay, well, yeah, okay, oh, that's why I have these, uh, this acne or whatever. This is why I have these blemishes or this rash or whatever is going on for you Um, is, is due to a hormonal imbalance. Yeah, but what is underneath, it's, that's still physical. So what is underneath it? It's an imbalanced sacral chakra. The opposite of it, and it seems to be taking place here now, is that you're coming into some sort of transformation here now. Which means that when you're claiming your womb, I'm actually getting hair standing up here now. So this is a real truth for a lot of you here, Taurus. When you're stepping into your womb, when you're you're one with your ovary, (laughs) and I don't care if you have... It doesn't matter if somebody goes now, I, I just, um, it's like I'm hearing somebody saying, well, I don't even have my ovaries left. Like I, I uh, went through surgery and they're gone. Or you took your whole, like your whole womb is gone. Um, um, it doesn't matter. That's still just physical. You still have the chakra there that can be on or off balance, right? So... This is claiming the spot. This is claiming just your space there where you just feel like a woman. You feel, sorry guys, this is still for women for for a bit here. Uh, And maybe you can just sort of understand the women in in your surrounding. And this is not something like I can say, this is not gender specific. Usually my readings are not gender specific, but this is very gender specific. Is very much this very part of the reading is very much for the for the woman, um, womb and um, there's something about claiming that power again, coming into this, having this transformation that leads to peace, claiming your womb power, and feeling one like feeling one with your creation again. That's where all the physical creation takes place. Like you are making a fr- you're you're creating a freaking baby in your womb, in your sacral energy center, creativity and sexuality at its best. You know, and it's not just for making babies. It's for making yourself. It's for making the rest of your life, whatever you want to create in it. And that is, it feels like that's coming alive here again. So there's thirteen is transformation. Death leading to life coming into the feminine flow, coming in. The feminine can be for a man. You can have a lot of feminine energy even though you're a man. So that's not what I'm talking about. But but this is for the women who's reclaiming their feminine power. And it says release the past. 
There is a more enriching future coming. Let go and let God. Can you just ask, can, can there be anything for the, for the man? <laughs> I feel sorry for the man. Is there anything for the man in here? Okay, I'm getting protective. So maybe you've been feeling... Maybe you've been feeling pro like protective of yourself. If you have children, you've been feeling really protective of your children. Like you just want to, um, you know, that typical, um, it really is a thing when you're pregnant and you sort of want to just, you just want to, what is that called? Uh, oh, it's called something. I, I am, I'm hearing the word nestle, but that's not it. Nesting, nesting. Um, like you just want to create this most beautiful womb that you're supposed to, I just spit there, it's beautiful, really beautiful. Um, that you're supposed to bring this baby into this outer womb. So you want to create this beautiful home, you want to prepare. And it feels like uh, you've, it feels like you, for some of you, this is not for all, but for some of you, you have sort of done the same thing. It's like you just all of a sudden want to make it more pretty around you and more welcoming and feel like you're, your home is almost like an extension of what what you are and feeling a little bit protective over your home or your family or like over yourself um it's almost like that inner power that inner glow or or charisma is something you really want to treasure right now so that's really fascinating is there anything for the man Taurus man in, uh, in all of this, the sacral chakra, the transformation, you might even recognize this, you might even understand this, even though I don't understand the opposite, like for the man of this, for the womb, uh, the high priestess, powerful psychic insights, reflection and meditation that provides valuable information, be at peace, so here comes peace again. It's the peace card itself, and here comes where the high priestess is talking about peace. Um, so this is for the man. It can be for all, but this is also sort of talking to the man. It's not just for for the woman. Um, so the high priestess is usually very highly, highly intuitive. So if I talk like, um, sorry if I'm yelling, you have to turn turn me down. I still have sort of that. <laughs> I can't fully hear myself. Um, <clears throat> there's this feeling of okay so if you're a woman there's this claiming your power your womb power it's sort of coming back to your ancient um like ancestry womb woman power uh inviting the feminine energy in and just sort of reclaim your throne sort of type of thing it's a very it's the force you know um and for the man it's more like a I know my, I know my home. Strong intuition. I know my home. I know myself. Hope this makes sense. And I'm happy you can be a part of it. <laughs> uh, it's uh, two number twos there. So it's all about the balance. All about the balance and the co communication within yourself right now. This is awesome. Okay. What else for beautiful Taurus is going on right now? I forgot to say that there's going to be an extension of this reading at the end here, and you're going to have still plenty of time to figure out whether this is your reading or not. What else for Taurus on their journey right now? Hmm. Memories of love, number six. So I just feel this, this is so too much today about just having this, mem having, coming back to, having the memory, memories of love. I am very drawn to that, to those words, memories of love and sort of picking up the, like it was always there, the river of love, very poetic. The river of love was always there. It just, there's something about remembering who you are again. 
and I, I've come across this word so many times now lately, remember that you, re, you reclaim and you remember, like you go back into your tribe of members, you remember uh, yourself. There's a coming together right now it looks like it's a bigger isolation than ever. It's, it looks like it's a bigger individual journey than ever. And in one sense, it is. And, and it's beautiful. It's not that bad as some people point it out to be. It's beautiful because we need to find that inner womb again. We need to find home again for them to feel connected to everyone or everything else. This is remem remembering who you are, but it's also like remembering the love. Like I talked about that this how we as a collective are now coming into the love vibration. We've never been in the love vibration before. As a collective, every, every once in a while, there's been a person who's definitely been in the love vibration. Jesus comes to mind. Um, like to just sort of sit in that vibration and wholeheartedly, literally wholeheartedly, um, have your do dominant focus in the love vibration. So you sort of vibrate on a very, very high level and as a collective, we're now sort of headed there. So this is a remembering of who you are and a remembering of that love. Number six is also the connection with your inner being, with your source. And six is also love. So it's a, it's a real homecoming. That's a good title. You would think I would remember homecoming, but no. I'm going to write it down homecoming <clears throat> just have to say have uh, have you have you noticed guys because i have that the higher up you get the more words seems to disappear and the higher up you get the more alzheimer's it seems like you have you just start to forget forget <laughs> there's always a play in words um remember forget before you get something before you get something you forget anyway sorry um <laughs> it's like a feeling of uh complete uh forgetfulness complete like what was this like in the middle of a sentence um and i always think about ellen DeGeneres in her most awesome the best stand-up thing she ever did um procrastination or something procrastinate now or something when she's like talking about have you ever had a dinner party and you're like sitting there talking to people and uh you're you're like now you're supposed to say something really clever and as you start talking as as literally the words are starting to come out of your mouth <laughs> you have already forgot what you were supposed to say so like halfway in there, you just start to make stuff up because you don't want to sort of cut out now. You want to say something clever. Um, it's just so funny. Um, anyway, yeah, you seem to be having Alzheimer's and it seems like you're at, at a loss for words. It's like the higher up you get, the words seems to just dissipate. I don't know what that's about. I, I just feel I just um, have experienced it. And if you feel the same thing, I'd say... You're just in an ascension process. You're not going crazy and you're not getting Alzheimer's, although you're just 25 years old. Why is the memories of love here? Memories of love for Taurus, please. Ah, I all of a sudden, <laughs> I all of a sudden get this pain. Let's see if it's mine or if it's yours. In my groin, is that what it's called? Um, um, it just happened. Oh, I was just talking about it and how it now. I have no idea what the Swedish word for groin is, but but apparently I know what groin is in English. It's where the knee bends. It meets the stomach. Oh my God. I think it's called groin. I had a, like a severe, just like a sharp pain into my groin on my left side. Ha <laughs> ha, still. See if it sort of disappears. Um, if somebody is having that, or if you just had surgery there, or if you have like a hernia or something, um, 
or, or having a little bit of a sharp pain in your groin, I'd say I might go check that out. There's something about this might just be for one person and you were supposed to just watch this video for this one reason here today to maybe go check that out. Or, or you're just in pain there and you're just being acknowledged for it. Yeah, because it went away now for me. So this is, this is not me. This is for you. As soon as I deliver something, if I feel something in my body and as soon as I sort of just share that and it goes away, I know it's not mine. Usually it's somebody else's. It can't just be that you're being very acknowledged at this time, that you're just, you're, you have undergone surgery, or you have been feeling pain there. Uh, it's not the end of the world. It's not something to be scared of. It's just sort of an acknowledgement from your guides that you're, you're being heard right now. You're being helped right now. Okay. Let me clarify these uh, memories of love here. Is of love. That's a lot of cards. <clears throat> I'm not going to take all of them. There you go. The star. 17. A dream come true. Believe in yourself. The end of a difficult situation. Get that very much with it. Release the past. There's a more enriching future coming. Let go and let God. A dream come true. Believe in yourself. The end of a difficult situation. The star. Like this is Aquarius. Which is they're very much blazing their own trail. They have a like real like um, they have they have a lot of confidence. You rarely see an Aquarius having low confidence. Uh, Ellen is Aquarius, by the way. Seventeen is immortality. A star is a wish wish fulfillment. It's hope. It's healing. Uh, it's uh, it's next level. This is so much more just confirming it so the memories of love this is oh. guys I'm not doing a good job at, at sort of try to dress the energy that I feel I feel like there's a huge homecoming you're remembering who you are you're rec if you're a woman you're reclaiming your womb if you're a man you're, you're remembering your home uh, it's immortality it's understanding that nothing ever dies it's a continuation we're one with source where once you come into this beautiful alignment, there's instant healing, there's instant manifestation, there's, you know, hope is quite low there. If I talk about hope, what, so the star representing hope, I feel like you've, you've, you've far succeeded um, hope. It's not hope. This is, this is it. This is deep knowing coming home I'm gonna move this into the extension if you feel like yeah this is my reading I resonate very deeply with this you're so welcome to come there we're gonna go deeper and see what we can find for you the link to that is in the description box down below if not thank you so much for watching Taurus take care bye